Thank you. So uh, anything else you're worried about? Um, nothing major, no. No. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh. Just one more. One more. One more thing. Yeah. Oh, the whole enlightenment business. The whole enlightenment <laughs> business. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I can't think of anything else. Oh yeah. The world. Uh, the universe. God. The whole. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that little stress in my life. Yeah. So, what would be your worry about it? Oh, you know, um, am I doing it right? When will I get there? I understand there's that I am oh, already let's there. Let's go right to the core. Does it exist? Okay. I'd worry about that. If I were any of you, I'd worry. Is it even real? Yeah. I, I mean, I'd worry big time about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're and taking I, it on faith. Sure, sure. And uh, what proof do you have? None. Absolutely none. But I will tell you one little secret. Even if it's not true, even if it's all a bunch of whitewash, a funny thing happens because of the nature of consciousness. That if it didn't exist. Uh, consciousness makes it exist, creates it to exist. If uh, I use my green pond scum um, story, say if there's no God, it was just this weird evolution from green pond scum and a created earth and humans and everything else, and there is no God, there are no angels. Consciousness, which has to exist, it has to exist for anything else to exist. Mm -hmm. Consciousness is now going to create God and heavens and angels and ascension and enlightenment and the full blossoming of what was uh, just green pond scum into magnificent ascended masters. That's the beauty of it. It's actually not necessarily coming top down. God, angels, humans, uh, animals, green pond scum. It could come up the other way. <laughs> Uh, it's the amazing thing. That's the beauty of consciousness. If everything else is distorted or not true or doesn't exist, the moment consciousness is added, it becomes so. That's the amazing thing. So let's say there is no such thing as enlightenment. You're, uh, you're born and you die, and that's it. Suddenly, the moment that your consciousness says, no, there's more than there is. That's the amazing thing. And that applies to everything, whether it's this, whether it's your human life. And that's kind of actually what's happening in your human life right now. You're putting consciousness in it, and it's expanding and creating. Whether it was ever there before or not, now it is. The amazing miracle that's happening is even if there was just, um, let, let's say, the old biblical God, and that's all there was, and you, you die and you go to heaven or, or hell, let's say that's all there was, suddenly it's changing from consciousness. Suddenly it's like, no, I want more. Mm -hmm. uh, now there is more. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you for letting me <laughs> carry on. David hardly ever gets to talk. Yes. I feel that I have trusted other people more than myself. Good. So let's change that around a little bit. You don't trust yourself. That has nothing to do with other people. Yeah. That, that could be, uh, for her, a very, very good reason. I don't trust myself. There is a huge um, factor in enlightenment. I'm going to get into it in just a moment. But there's a huge factor about letting go. And it's ingrained in each and every one of you when you really let go. And I mean let go, let go. That, that the dragons, the demons, and Satan, and everybody else are going to be there waiting for you, to devour you. It's a fear that's been instilled in every one of you. And there is that. What if I let go and this was all a joke? I'm going I'm to give you my simple answer beyond that. Life is whatever 
you basically imagine it, choose it to be, uh, with the keper. The keper, there's this air, physical air, the ethereal air. It creates a fabric, like a material, like a beautiful, glistening material. And you throw your keper on that fabric, and it creates your life. Most people don't know that, and they don't do it consciously. They just kind of splatter on that fabric. <laughs> but there's this beautiful fabric, and with a keper you can create anything you want. It doesn't where, – where you're going, where all of us are going, is beyond, into whatever you want. Uh, there's this fear that there's going to be some darkness. You just laugh at the darkness. Yeah, it's going to be there. Well, it's going to be yours. You just laugh at it. And then we become whatever we choose to become. A and continuing to uh, evolve it, to expand it, to make more of that painting on this uh, air and ether fabric. It's that simple. In other words, none of it matters. It's only what you choose. So, but a part of it's trusting yourself. It goes back to an old thing I'm really tired of now. Oh, I did bad things in a past lifetime and I killed people. I was in war. Yeah, we all did. That's part of the human journey. Get over it. It's, just get over it. It's not going to happen again to any of you. None of you, just double checking, none of you are going to be <laughs> <laughs> murderers or, you know, or, you know you're not going to be uh, terrorists or anything like that. So it's not going to happen. Get over it. Okay, one more quick one. We do need to move on. You already called on? <laughs> and Shambhra, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody's already on their email or Facebook or whatever. How can he be so arrogant? You know what? It's an act. And maybe you stop out of acting like such a deadhead. Oh. And I, I'm not talking to all of them. There's just one person out there. Oh, he's so <laughs> arrogant. <laughs> Why don't you stop acting like a bore, okay? <laughs> You know who you are. <laughs> it's all an act, you see? And if you act a little, a little pompous, you know, it's better than acting like, oh, I'm a victim. <laughs> Try it. Act a little, hell, yeah, life has been good to me, so I'm a little better. I don't care. <laughs> it, it, it's just an act. And then you know what happens? You act that way. It's like, Okay, so I got more money than you, okay? I, and that's fine by me, not by you. I, I, and you start acting that way, and you know what? The energy gets delivered to you that way. That's kind of a weird thing. It's called, like, where's my book? I need a prop. Act of Consciousness. Yeah, you know, somebody have, there you go. Yeah. Uh, it's the Act of Consciousness. It's all here. It's actually 150 pages. Interesting to note, about ten of which are blank. <coughs> Why do they do that? And it's an all an act. You act like you're ready for ascension or enlightenment. Guess what? It's there. It's all an act. It's, some would argue that acting is uh, not real. Oh, crap, look at you. <laughs> That is an act, and it's not real, and it's really tiring now. And I'm not talking to all of you online. There's just that one. <laughs> uh, that one that's, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to write something bad on Facebook. <laughs> it's all an act, and you can act any way you want. You can act, you can act eccentric, and uh, oh, you already do. You can act. Uh, any way you want. You can act like you are so together. And even if that human part of you goes, oh, you're faking it. I don't care. So are you, stupid human part. You're faking it. <laughs> I'm going to act like I'm really together, that I'm abundant. I'm going to act like my health is good, that I've got this youthful, vibrant body. It's all an act. And the moment you start believing that well, you're faking it. The moment you start buying into your act as only a human of limitations, you've got a long, long, long way to go. So act, whatever, and, and act many, all at the same time. It's all at the same time. It does, it's not singular. You can be many actors on your stage at one time.
whatever you feel like. 